Self Practice 10.1 Questions Number 1 Malaysia Automotive Association reported that the total number of registered commercial vehicles in the year 2015 was 75,376, whereas the total registered number of commercial vehicles in the year 2017 was 61,956. Calculate the index for the number of registered commercial vehicles in the year 2017 based on the year 2015 and interpret it. So to find the index number, we're going to use the formula here. So in these questions, we want to find the index number in the year 2017 based on 2015. Therefore, we're going to take the quantity in the year 2017 and divide it with the quantity in the year 2015 and multiply it with 100. Therefore, in this case, it will be 61,956 divided by 75,376 then multiply it with 100. Solve this, you'll find that the answer will be 82.20. So when the index number is smaller than 100, it means there will be a decrease when compared to the base year. So to find the decrease in percentage, we will use 100 minus the 82.20, which is equal to 17.8. Therefore, the interpretations of the index number 82.20 that we find here will be the number of registered commercial vehicles in the year 2017 decreased by 17.8% when compared to the year 2015. Questions number 2. The average monthly expenditure of a Malaysian household in the year 2014 was RM3,578. In the year 2017, average monthly expenditure of a Malaysian household was 4,033 ringgit. Find the average index for the monthly expenditure of a Malaysian household in the year 2017 based on the year 2014 and interpret your findings. So to find the index number again, we're going to refer to the formula here. Here we want to find the average index in the year 2017 based on 2014. Therefore, we're going to take the expenditure in the year 2017, which I'm going to label it as P2017. The P will stand for price as the expenditure involving money. And I'm going to divide it with the expenditure in the year 2014 and multiply it with 100. So here it will be 4033 divided by 3578. Then multiply it with 100. The answer of this will be 112.72. The value of index number here is more than 100. It means there will be an increase when compared to the best year. So to find the increase in percentage, we're going to take the index number that we find, 112.72, and minus it with 100, which is equal to 12.72%. So the interpretations of the index number that we find here, the 112.72 in these questions will be the average monthly expenditure of a Malaysian household in the year 2017 increased by 12.72% when compared to the year 2014. Questions number three. The total production of oil palm in Malaysia in the year 2013 was 720,440,105 metric tons. Given the index of the total production of oil palm in the year 2016, based on the year 2013 was 90.23, find the total production of oil palm in the year 2016. Based on the index number 19.23, we already know that the total production of oil palm in the year 2016 will decrease compared to the year 2013. To find the index number 19.23, we're going to take the quantity in the year 2016, divide it with the quantity of the oil palm produced in the year 2013 and multiply it with 100. So this will give us the answer of the 90.23. 
Next, we're going to replace the Q 2013 with the information that we have from the questions. To solve for the Q 2016, I'm going to move this 720 million 140,105 metric tons to the right hand side, followed by the hundreds. So it will be 90.23 times 720 million 140,105 metric tons divided by 100. So the answer for this will be 650 million 53,106.7 metric tons. When we round off this answer to the nearest metric tons, then the answer will be 650 million 53,107 metric tons. Questions number four. The table below shows the price indices for a particular type of drink. Finds the value of P. Based on the information in the table, the year which is stated equal to 100 will be the best year. Before the information, this 150 will be the price index in the year 2013 based on 2011. This 2 to 5 will be the price index in the year 2019 based on 2011. Whereas this P will be the index num price index in the year 2019 based on 2013. So when you are given two index number and the questions questions asking you to find another one, which across three different years, so you can use a very simple formula which I call as the SMART formula to find it. So first, I'm going to write the year involved in ascending order. So in this case, it start from 2011, followed by 2013 and follow by 2019 so here i'm going to draw a line here so this part will be referred to the index number in the year 2013 based on 2011 this will be the index number in the year 2019 based on 2013 whereas this part here will refer to the index number in the year 2019 based on 2011. To use this method, let's say the index number of 2013 based on 2011, let's say the value is A, and the value of the index number in the year 2019 based on 2013 is B. So when you are taking the value of A, you multiply it with B over 100 the answer that you're going to get will be the index number in the year 2019 based on 2011 let's say we label this as the C this is because the value C here they are having the 2011 as the best year so they are having the same starting point here so in these questions the value of A which is the 2013 based on 2011, the index number will be the 150. The index number 2019 based on 2013, this one will be the P. And the index number 2019 based on 2011 is the 2 to 5. So using this formula, it will be 150 times P over 100, it will be equal to 2 to 5. To solve this, I'm going to move the 150 to the right hand side followed by the 100. Therefore, P will equal to 2 to 5 divided by 150 times 100. Therefore, P is equal to 150. Questions number five. The production index of industrial sugar in the year 2011 and 2012 based on the year 2010 was 101.4 and 95 point respectively. 
calculate the index productions of industrial sugar in the year 2012 based on the year 2011. So this question 5 is similar to the questions number 4 as you are given two index number across three years. So we can use the small method to solve for these questions. So first, this 101.4, this will be the index number in the year 2011 based on 2010. Whereas this 95.8 will be the index number in the year 2012 based on 2010. So the index number that we want to find will be the index number in the year 2012 based on 2011. So to use the smart to use the smart method, we're going to write the three years involved in ascending order. So here we're going to start from 2010, followed by 2011 and 2012. So for this part here, this going to, we're going to label it with the index number in the year 2011 based on 2010, which is 101.4. And for this part, this will be the index number in the year 2012 based on 2011. So here, this one, I'm just going to label it as 2000 I 2012 based on 2011. And for this part, this will be the index number in the year 2012 based on 2010, which will be the 95.8. So again, so if this part is A, B, and C, it will be A times B over 100. This will give you the answer of C. So using this information to find the index number in the year 2012 based on 2011, it will be 101.4 times the index number in the year 2012 based on 2011 divided by 100. This will give you the index number of 95.8. Therefore, to find the index number in the year 2012 based on 2011, so first I'm going to move the 101.4 to the right hand side. It will be 95.8 divided by 101.4. Then next I'm going to move the 100 to the right hand side. It will be times 100. The answer of this will be 94.8. For it. Self practice 10.2 questions number one. The table show the price index of grocery in the year 2015 and 2020 based on the year 2010. Find the price index of this grocery in the year 2020 based on the year 2015. So based on the information in the table, this 125 is referred to the price index in the year 2015 based on 2010. As this 140 is referred to the price index in the year 2020 based on 2010. And the price index that we want to find will be the price index in the year 2020 based on 2015. So we can solve these questions using the SMALS method. So first, we're going to write the three years involved here in ascending order. So it's going to be starting with the year 2010, followed by 2015 and 2020. So for this part here, it's referred to the index number in the year 2015 based on 2010. So we're going to label this part here with 1 to 5. And as for this part, is referred to the index number in the year 2020 based on 2015, which is the price index that we want to find. And as for this part, it's, this is referred to the index number in the year 2020 based on 2010, which is 140. To solve for these questions, it will be 1 to 5 times the price index in the year 2020 based on 2015 over 100. This is equal to 140. 
So to find the price index in the year 2020 based on 2015, so first we're going to move this 1 to 5 to the right hand side. It will be 140 divided by 125. Next, we're going to move the 100 to the right hand side. That is going to be multiply 100. So the answer for this will be 112. Questions number two. The premium insurance payment of a company in the year 2016 increased as much as 5% compared to the year 2011. In the year 2018, the premium increased again as much as 10% compared to 2011. Find the premium insurance index in the year 2018 compared to the year 2016. So based on the information in the first sentence, at least stated is is increased as much as 5%. Therefore, the index number in the year 2016 based on 2011 here will be 100 plus the 5 will be 105. And based on the second sentence, the premium increase again as much as 10%. Therefore, the index number in the year 2018 based on 2011 will be 100 plus 10, which is equal to 110. And the index number that we want to find will be the index number in the year 2018 based on 2016. Again, we can solve these questions using the SMILES method. So the three years involved here will be the year 2011, 2016, and 2000. 18. So for the first, first part here, we're going to label it with the index number in the year 2016 based on 2011, which is the 105. And for this part, this will be the index number in the year 2018 based on 2016, which is the index number that we want to find. And for this part, this will be the index number in the year 2018 based on 2011, which is the which is the 110. To solve this, this will be 105 times the index number in the year 2018 based on 2016 over 100. This will be equal to 110. So to find the index number in the year 2018 based on 2016. So first, I'm going to move this 105 to the right hand side. It will be 110 divided by 105. Then I'm going to move the 100 to the right hand side. It will be times 100. The answer of this will be 104.76.